Yo, what is up, guys? I am PokeyMMD, and with me today I have my boy Envy. It's popping, guys. It's popping. And we are so excited because we just got a lot, a lot of new Pokemon information from the Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3. So shout outs to them, of course. And um, yeah, there's just so much stuff I want to talk about. And I have Envy here with me because it's easier to talk about stuff when you have someone to bounce it off of. And um, yeah, so during this uh, actually Treehouse playthrough, ooh, ooh, little spoilers. Oh my, oh God, you guys just saw everything. Um, <laughs> they showed uh, gameplay and uh, Pokemon has actually revealed a trailer and we have a new Pokemon, a new flying type Pokemon, the new normal flying type Pokemon called Peaky. Peck. Peaky Peck. What a great name. <laughs> and this Pokemon has the ability Keen Eye, which isn't so useful and competitive unless they like boost it in Sun and Moon. But it has Skill Link as a secondary ability. And this is pretty cool considering uh, normal flying types uh, throughout the generations have been known to know like moves like Fury Attack, right, Envy? Yeah. And uh, if we actually go to the Pokemon site, it gives us its little height, its weight. And things like that. It is the Woodpecker Pokemon, but I'm gonna actually read what the description says. Peaky Peck can strike 16 times a second with it. Oh my god, with its beak. These <laughs> strikes are powerful enough to not only drill through hardwood, but even shatter stone. The noises made by their blows can signal others. Some of these signals have been identified as warning signals and greetings among allies. Peaky Peck trainers have grown to recognize them as well. These Pokemon drill holes in trees and store food in the holes, kind of like woodpeckers. Uh, they also like small glittering objects and will tuck them away in the food stores too. It's often said something lost, something missed, checking inside the Peaky Peck's nest. <laughs> but this is the really, really cool part. Peaky Peck will attack distant opponents by zipping seeds at them. These shots have enough strength to embed the seeds in tree trunks. Envy, what does it sound like, bro? It sounds to me that it's going to be learning Bullet Seed sometimes. Exactly. It sounds like Bullet Seed. And we already know Bullet Seed got uh, a buff in power in 6th gen. And um, the fact that this thing, it even says in its description, can shatter stone. So the fact that this normal and flying type can deal with rock type Pokemon is really cool. Bullet Seed, uh, we can also, uh, you know, guess that it'll be getting maybe a potential multi-hit flying type move. Right. I went through Cerebi and, you know, my memory and everything. I don't think there's any multi-hit flying type move that I can think of right off the bat. So the fact that Pika Peck can get this or potentially will be getting this is really nice. I love how from 6th gen also to 7th gen, we seem to be getting these Route 1 birds. Last time we had Talonflame. You know, we're getting all these overpowered Route 1 birds and I love it. I love it for the in game. So definitely a uh, skill link will more than likely be the set that you see people with. There ain't gonna be no keen eye uh, running around. But we got more. We definitely got more. So I wanna go over the next Pokemon, Young Goose. We got this like straight up mean mugging dude. This, this reminds me of CBB or something. It kind of <laughs> looks just like him. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a uh, young goose, which is, um, I want to say the, the, like the, like the zigzagoon, I want to say, of yeah. uh, the route, pretty much. It's one of those mods that you come up with in the beginning of the game. And it has the ability stake out and strong jaw with the normal typing. Now, um, let's actually go to it right here. But Strong Jaw is obviously very cool, especially on a normal type Mon, because a lot of those Mons have access to uh, plenty of different TMs and HMs, so I could think this thing would definitely get crunch uh, just because of its teeth, the way it looks. So obviously having the Strong Jaw boost, and uh, we're actually going to read its description right here. Young Goose is a big eater that is never satisfied. The majority of its long, it sounds like any teenager, <laughs> the majority <laughs> of its long body is given over to its stomach and its suggestion is swift, so it is always hungry. It has strong fangs, so we can think about elemental fangs coming out. Um, ice fang, fire fang, things like that. So it can crush and consume the hardest of objects. Each young goose chooses its own particular route for searching out prey. It stalks along this route, searching for food until it's exhausted, at which point it drops and sleeps wherever it may be. It's thought that these Pokemon decide their routes based on safety, so that there's no risk in falling asleep at any time. Ooh, I like that, bro. No risk plays. Making the safe plays to win the game. <laughs> Young Goose is not a Pokemon that is native to the Al... That is native. That is not native. Whoa, to the Alola region. It was brought to the region to help deal with the explosive population of certain other Pokemon. And now Young Goose are commonly seen around the Alola region. Dude! Okay, well, when I struggle to read that for some reason, it's early. I'm sorry about that. But, um... The way that says it, and this is the Mongoose Pokemon, similar to how we got Zangoose in previous generations and they got Survivor with it because back and forth, Mongoose were imported to deal with uh, Cobras. Mm -hmm. So we can definitely assume 
that there is gonna be a new snake Pokemon coming as well in this generation. Uh, unless there's like an infestation of Ekans and Arbuck around in the Alola region. But some young goose have an ability that no other Pokemon discovered has previously had. This ability is known as Stakeout. With the Stakeout ability, this Pokemon's moves can deal twice the normal damage to any Pokemon that switches in or enters the field mid-battle. You want to talk about that's that a bit? That's crazy. Yeah, dude, that's like that's like when you switch out. It's pretty much like you're attacking with the pursuit. Exactly. Double it, damage. Yeah, and when you switch in, so there's no. It's not safe to necessarily switch in on this mon, which is pretty cool because you're gonna be uh, like Envy just said. It's like pursuit from coming in, so <laughs> that's a that's a sick ability. On top of which, like on top of strong draw, this thing has good uh, abilities all around. Since this Pokemon is so common in the Alola region, it's easy to catch one, but this Pokemon has a terrible temper when it's hungry and it demands a whopping amount of food. Alright, so that's super cool. Uh, the fact that we have Young Goose, and it has two good abilities, uh, just based on their descriptions. We already know Strong Jaw is a pretty solid ability, as long as it gives this thing um, decent uh, coverage. Maybe we'll even get a new normal type bite. Like yeah. This, yeah, like a, like a normal type of bite, but let's keep going. Um, we'll probably get we'll probably get Dank Snake as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you Young Goose and Dank Snake. <laughs> so the next up is the uh, new bug type of the region, which is Grubbin. Now this was actually not sh this was actually shown after when Pokemon uh, launched their um, their new uh, trailer on the site. But let's actually go up to Grubbin and see what it has to say. It does know the Swarm ability, so standard for a bug. This will be like your normal, like your Caterpie, like your. Um, what are the other bugs? Your uh, your Weedles, like your your Sea Waddle, Spoopa. Not, not Sweet Waddles, Swoopas. That's it, Spoopas. So this would be like the bug type of the uh, Alola region, the standard dot bug that probably evolves. Like by the time you get it to level twelve, you probably have a full evolved, uh, like a fully evolved bug type. So let's read the description. It's really short. Grubbin relies on its sturdy jaw as a weapon in battle and as a tool for burrowing through the earth. Grubbin loves electricity, which is why it can be found near power plants and substations. By wrapping tree branches in its sticky threads that it spews from its mouth, Grubbin can swing around like an actor on suspension wires. All right, so if there were no hints for electric type here, like there were so many hints right there. Just this thing might actually become an electric type when it evolves. Uh, it talks about how it loves electricity. Uh, it talks about suspension wires. Like these are all hints towards electric typing I feel as it evolves what do you think Envy yeah definitely and uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna get another ability I think maybe it's gonna stick with swarm because we don't see anything else unless um like hidden abilities another... like a hidden abilities and things like that so yeah uh, but I, I definitely think that Grubbin I'm um, just based on its description alone uh, and even its color like the way it looks it's electric it, it, it's electric wow it's yellow <laughs> yeah, it's yellow so it's gonna probably be electric that when it evolves it also gives us, it says sturdy jaw, so maybe there's also a hint that it could evolve and have um, strong jaw or anything like that as it evolves, but we don't know, kind of like a, it kind of looks like a pincer looking forward. Like, you know what I mean? Like pincer standing up and not, yeah, like, yeah, it's like it's yeah. all fours or six, whatever this Just mod like has. eyes on the side of it. <laughs> yeah, so definitely uh, this could have a potential electric typing. Let's keep going through the uh, trailer. Of course, I am on Serebi as well, guys, and on the Pokemon Sun and Moon official site, which is where we're looking through uh, all this. But so far, three new Pokemon have been revealed. And let's go through the trailer and see what else they have. Uh, for us. So obviously we already know about Margiana, um, the steel and fairy type Pokemon and um, I'm actually going to go through it on the uh, on the sun and moon right here. So we're going to go through the details right quick but I want to show you guys its ability Soul Heart. Now when you look at it in the actual uh, battle as you can see Eevee is actually being knocked out and um, Margiana's ability, Soul Heart, is actually raising its special attack. So it's like a friend Moxie, like a special attacking Moxie. And uh, it's really cool because we actually have the full details of it here. Um, Margiana's ability is a Soul Heart ability, a new ability that no previous Pokemon has had. I love how they say that. <laughs> Soul Heart has the effect of raising Margiana's special attack by one stage each time another Pokemon in the area faints. This is a new ability, one that can be put to good use in battle. So this is more than likely something that... Um, is gonna have more use in double battles than singles but then again it's kind of like moxie as well it doesn't specify that this yeah, has to like be any area right? yeah exactly the actual exactly area. it doesn't specify that it has to be a double battle and it also even though I called it like a friend moxie it's not necessarily have to be your teammate that's knocked out because it does say that any Pokemon in the battle um, 
being knocked out in the area of feints. So again, this could be a special moxie just based on single battles as well. We don't know. It's all speculation. Um, but just based on what we see, it is confirmed that it does get the special attack boost as it uh, as Amon is knocked out. So we got a bunch of cool things as well. Uh, Fleur Cannon, which is its uh, special ability. I don't know too much about that. And uh, I want to talk about this because this is pretty exciting. I know Duncan was definitely, definitely excited about this. A brand new battle mode. It's called Battle Royale, guys. And it is essentially free-for-alls in Pokemon. In -game. Confirmed. Um, it's kind of similar to uh, free-for-alls as well. Basically, it ends. Uh, let me go to Cerebi real quick. Uh, because he talked better about this but a new battle mall called battle royale where four players play with three pokemon each sending out one at a time so similar to a free-for-all it's a free-for-all battle but when the first trainer loses all their pokemon the game ends and players are tallied up by defeated pokemon and remaining pokemon um that determines the winner so that's really cool because uh, one of the quote-unquote not issues but one of the things with free-for-alls in itself was you would have to guess okay this guy had more hp so he wins but this pokemon actually tallies it up for you and um that's super cool that pokemon has actually introduced that there's a a few other things i want to talk about as well and i don't know if mv wants to really add anything but the uh, one of the things that I thought was super cool for um, the new Pokemon was that they actually tally your stat boosts in the uh, game. And I'm going to try my best to find uh, some video footage of it, but we'll go right back to that. They but, tally your stat boosts, right, right. Mm -hmm. So, like, if uh, it actually shows you your stat boost. So, if you have an accuracy in the game, if you look at your Pokemon, it'll say, okay, your accuracy is up plus one. Um, I'll look for the images of it, but why don't you talk about the... Uh, the Solgaleos and Lunala. Right, right, right. Uh, new so basically, right, what we found out was Solgaleo and Lunala, they actually have different phases. So they have, so Solgaleo has a Radiant Sun phase and Lunala has a Full Moon phase. And that actually, well, according to the, the, the description, it says here that the forms that these two Pokemon take when they release their mighty power are now revealed as the Radiant Sun phase and the Full Moon phase. Both appear to be shining with a stronger light than their previously released images. What will these two do when they release their full power? Ooh. Ooh. So obviously we don't have, uh, we, we don't have anything like what it is just yet. However, it is confirmed that, or it even says that um, that release their mighty power. So we can assume it's not confirmed, but we can assume that these mons get stronger, that their stats go up, that there is some sort of boost per turn, that someone use some sort of attack raise guard spec type of thing when they're battling so we can definitely assume that these mons get stronger uh, during this phase um similar to do we have anything like that actually i, I mean we kind of had where um xerneas and neveltal kind of got a little stronger with each other in on the field or i guess dark types fairy types you know that's true and also cool. like with the reshiram and zekrom uh fusion bolt and uh yeah fusion flare right fusion flare and fusion bolt they both got stronger if they were used after each other so maybe it'd be something like that i'm kind of hoping that it's just a phase like uh like sort of similar to uh the zygarde stuff that i actually haven't yeah. touched upon uh should i touch upon that yeah you want to talk about zygarde real quick about the what happens when it gets low in health yeah I, w I would actually i wouldn't mind that at all um do they have zygarde here on uh yeah just scroll down oh, on cerebi all right, yeah, I'll go to Cerebi, guys. So we'll talk about Zygarde as well, and then we'll go back to this uh, because I do want to show you. Actually, we're going to go to Cerebi real quick. Before we go to Zygarde, I want to show you guys the new uh, battling, uh, the way it looks. I love how it says fight on the side. It's super clean. It is extremely clean it's right crisp. here. And uh, obviously, it shows little uh, photos of the new Pokemon in battle. And um, let me actually just find what I was looking for real quick. Because I know Sarah B added it to the new po uh, new Pokemon page. No, it would be... Alright, so we go to Sun and Moon. And then go to pre-release screenshots. That's what we're looking for. And uh, I guess Sarah B doesn't have it. Do you want the video? I can link you the video. We could go through the video. I, I just want to show the um, the new the the new way that it shows like, the accuracy and all that being raised and stuff. Oh, like. yeah, yeah. Alright, that. But basically, this is the new... Um, this is the new battle screen and I love how if you click Y it automatically goes to Pokeball so we have like a hotkey for Pokeballs or whatever you want to use right there and um, another thing that was super 
I thought was super cool was that if you actually kick down your moves, and again, I don't have the uh, picture of it, and I, I apologize for that. Maybe I'll add it in or something. Um, if you actually click on your moves when you're fighting, it will show you if a move is super effective versus your opponent, effective or neutral versus your opponent. So that's super cool uh, because I think while that does make the in-game, I feel like I use super cool like four million times. But you know what? I'm hype, okay? I am hype. I, I feel like though that does make the in-game a bit easier because, okay, then I'll find out, oh, this move is super effective. That actually helps a lot for the competitive side because part of com uh, the competitive side of Pokemon is, you know, learning what moves are super effective against what moves, what moves to use against certain moves. So I think that is something that benefits the competitive side a bit more and also helps the newer trainer just learn as they're playing. Mm -hmm. um, also, Pop Leo learns this arming voice upon level up. So what do you think that means, Envy? Fairy type, dude. Yeah, yeah. Fairy Pop, type. Pop Leo could very well turn into a fairy type. A water fairy, level. yeah. That's amazing typing, by the way, guys. Um, offensively and defensively, water fairy is such a solid typing. Uh, but that's super cool. Of course, that's all speculation. A lot of this is speculation. Uh, but really, really cool to think that Pop Leo could turn into a fairy type. A starter with fairy typing. I really hope that we get more crazy types on starters like like dragon and steel as the other two as we keep going but uh, we can dream we can dream we can dream uh, of yeah but yeah let's actually scroll down to uh zygarde and um do you want to talk about it a bit bro yeah all right yeah so basically right what we know about zygarde is that in its dog form or what, what is the form called it's uh 10 percent zygarde 10 percent form. form so when it gets down to um actually i think when it gets down to 10 percent, right yeah when it gets down to 10 percent, it actually gets back hp while it transforms into that monstrous uh, Godzilla form. Yeah. And uh, it gets some good stat boosts as well. So we know that when you get down to low HP, you actually become, you actually heal HP and you get more like you get more power. Yeah, it Which makes sense too because it's Zygarde um it's the Zygarde complete form. And obviously Zygarde ten percent, you know, shows that okay, you're like ten percent of the actual form. It's kinda like I don't want to compare it to Dragon Ball Z Cell, but Cell, you know how he was absorbing the androids and eventually Got back to complete form. I'm not even sure if Envy actually watched Dragon Ball Z, to be honest. But, uh... <laughs> of course. Uh, it, didn't, it doesn't show it in this trailer, per se, on the um, American trailer, or the Pokemon trailer for the US. But, uh, basically, Zygarde gained a lot more HP as it got up. I think, um... And it was something that I actually retweeted, and we're gonna go to it real quick. Uh, it was calculated that Zygarde actually got like ridiculous amount of HP similar to Wobbuffet and um, similar to Wobbuffet and maybe Chansey uh, mm -hmm. and uh, Blissey so I actually want to show you guys uh, that was calculated because I did retweet it yesterday that's actually crazy wow yeah to think that it gets that much and obviously, obviously it has like thousand arrows um, and he gets that one move called Core Enforcer. Yeah, so uh, based on this picture, uh, Zygarde 100% has base HP stat between 227 and 180. As you can see, at level 50, it has a max of 287 HP. And typically, Pokemon uses zero IVs on these mons. So we can assume that the uh, Zygarde 100% or perfect form or complete form whatever it's called it's complete form uh, but whatever you want to call it has a ridiculous amount of HP uh, a ridiculous amount of bulk as well and it's pretty cool because when it transforms from 10% to um, this it obviously gains back that HP so we could see in competitive maybe they'll be running uh, Zygarde 10% forms with sashes uh, or substitute or sub exactly things like that and um, not sure if it actually can hold an item just yet but uh, also based on this image, shout out to Nugget Bridge as well. This is what I was talking about earlier. As you can see, um, this is a Pop Leo versus a Litten. And on the side where we see the battle, it says Pound is effective, Water Gun is super effective, this Arming Voice is not very effective. And Pop Leo actually learns this Arming Voice very, very early. As you can see, it's level 8 right here. So it learns it extremely, extremely early. Uh, really cool that we can potentially get that typing right there. Um, a Fairy typing. And, uh, hmm, is there anything else we really want to touch on? I think that's it. I mean, like, overall, I, I feel like they're really trying to help out a lot of the more beginner players by, you know, 
keeping uh, like all those kind of information with you in in the in the battle, you know, like with the yeah. uh, super yeah. effective the definitely. stat boost and everything. Definitely, definitely. I also want to talk about uh, really quickly. Um, Zygar ten percent form is the ability. It's called Swarm Change, by the way, and that's what changes it in a pinch. So that doesn't necessarily have to be ten percent. A pinch was like when you uh, got your berry activated, right? So isn't that like twenty five percent and lower? Yeah, something like that. I know it's something close to that. So. I also want to show the uh, the attack, how sick this attack looks, and I'm actually not going <laughs> to... It's called Core Crusher. It's Zygarde's... Uh, this man went all Zoro, the Avenger, on people, like, straight up, cutting you up with his sword. Look at this blast. Oof. 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 Yeah, Garchomp Dude, got blown makes back. A, it makes a Z. Yeah, Garchomp got absolutely blown back, so... Uh, some really really cool information definitely excited for Sun and Moon give me your thoughts guys down below and uh, as new inf information comes we'll definitely be um, talking about it and uh, making videos but go ahead and check out MV by the way his link to his channel will be down below and uh, you have anything else to say buddy uh, I'm looking forward to more information I oh. want to wanna hear all these new Pokemon right now <laughs> hell yeah guys I want Sun and Moon right now but yeah, yeah later guys